What is up everybody? Potato Man here and welcome to the Shadows of Rose expansion. The one and only expansion for this game. Without further ado, let's uh, oh shit okay yeah 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 yeah. I I forgot all about that. Shit, I think we're going to rock that. New game. Uh, yeah, we're definitely playing on standard for now. Hey, Kay. Sorry I'm late. It's okay. I'm just enjoying the day. You said you had something important to tell me? I hope it's not about Chris wanting me to join his operation, because I already told him that's not happening. I see what he puts you and the rest of his hound wolf squad through. <laughs> no, thank you. It's not about that. It is about you. Me? I, if I worry about you, how is, um, how are things at school? <laughs> Seriously? That's what you wanted to talk to me about? That group of mean girls still hassling you? I mean, are they still treating me like a freak? Still hey. crazy. Still crazy to think that canine here is actually part of uh, Chris's squad there. Especially when uh, when you're actually playing as Chris in the main game. Canine and uh, what was his other one? Lobo? Yeah, there's like, yeah, a few others. But it's crazy to think, okay, so why is canine... Uh, like, why is, why is he in, why is he in this, you know? Why him of all people, right? Why couldn't it be Lobo? Why couldn't it be Chris? Why couldn't it be whoever else was on his squad? Like, why canine? You know? What makes, what, what is the significance here? That's the real question. What is the significance here? Is there something that's going to happen? That he's going to be like, I don't know, not human? Or if, like, this is all a setup? I, you know, we're just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to play through the expansion to find out. Uh uh, look at me, you are not a freak. I am. I know I am. That's why I keep my distance from everybody at school. If they knew what I really was. So you don't have any friends that you can talk to. <laughs> talk to? About what? How I'm hardly even human, how I'm some kind of horrendous monster. <laughs> but, hey, it's okay. I hardly ever murder my friends. What if there were a way to get rid of your powers? I get rid of them in a heartbeat. All right, well, I think there's something I need to show you. You already know about Miranda and the mutamycete, how she researched it obsessively and performed experiments on human subject. Like me. Exactly. Uh, what you don't know is that we recently found some of her research. Apparently, she discovered a purifying crystal that can remove the mutamycete from its host. Purifying crystal? If we can get our hands on one of these, we might be able to weaken or remove your powers entirely. Are you kidding me? No. No, but her notes are incomplete. However, I think I have an idea where we can find the rest of her research. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's find it. Where is it? Uh, in there. Oh, and also another thing. I know pausing is going to like ruin the immersion, especially for like the story here. Um, also, what what's about to happen, right? Um, and I mean... Does K9 have clearance to you know green light this? Is is he allowed to be with Rose and like tell her that she can do this? Because it doesn't really seem like anyone has been consulted, any higher ups, you know? I don't know, something about this doesn't smell right. What? That's a fragment of the Mega Mycete. It absorbs and stores memories from people. Ah pass away in close proximity, including Miranda, and okay. everything she knows. If you enter its consciousness, you might be able to solve the mystery of the purifying crystal. Wait, what oh. do you mean, enter its consciousness? Oh, so, okay, so you, 
your deep connection will allow you to explore the information within. Huh. That sounds crazy. You sound crazy. Yes, 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 Rose, but not dangerous, right? Think of it just like walking through somebody else's memories. You really think this can work? I think it's worth trying. What do you have to lose? The, when someone says it's not going to be dangerous, it's going to be dangerous. Shit, shit. I, I don't know. Try reaching out to it. See what happens. It's actually crazy that this is what K9 looks okay. like. I never knew this is what he. This is what he would have looked like out of uniform. Fine. What the hell? Okay, so yeah, um, this is not going to just be a simple walk, walk in the park, or in this case, walk through someone's memories. This is not going to be just that. We know this. <laughs> and again, does he have clearance to do this? Is he allowed to be doing this with Rose, you know? Oh my god, Rose is so weird. Yeah. It's like she sees things that aren't there. Creepy. Stay away from us, you uh, creep. Imagine wanting to be friends uh, she's with her. She's definitely Ew, not something just moved on her hand. What's wrong with her? Shut up! Poor girl. Please just shut up! I'm still here. I also turned on hey. first person just a little bit like before I started the stream. Hey. Since we played the uh, main game as hey. Ethan. Since we played the main game as Ethan in this third person, isn't right. I uh, wanted to see if we could play this in first person, and it doesn't seem like it. Fuck, man, that sucks, dude. Come on, how cool would have this been to be able to play this in first person? I actually would have liked that a lot. It's a wonder that they didn't. I wonder why this game is. I wonder why the expansion is only third person. Okay, Miranda's research claims that the Megamycete preserves the memories of people who passed away within its area of influence, absorbing them into its own vast consciousness. We also know, based on our previous enc encounters with the mold, that people who are contaminated with the uh, Mutamycete are connected in a kind of mold network. If we extrapolate the, uh, from this, we can uh, surmise that subjects with a strong affinity to the Mutamycete should be able to use the network to connect the memories of the dead with the megamycete. It should be possible to verify this theory using the lab's megamycete sample we collected 16 years ago. We just need a suitable subject with a proven connection to the mold. Unfortunately, this presence, uh, presence. Unfortunately, this presents a problem. Our organization's policies prevent us from directly contacting civilians who are infected with the mutamycete. Certainly the ethical reasoning is understandable, but it has rendered the confirmation of this theory impossible. Hold on. Mm, excuse me. Okay, here's the thing though. I do wonder, okay, like in Resident Evil 9, where the, where the story will pick up. Because obviously Ethan is gone. Well, so as so far we know he is, but um, like even at the end of the credits of the main game when you play as Ethan, it says the father's story is now done. Obviously we're picking up as Rose, but I don't even know. But here's the thing though: is the expansion the only time we play as Rose, or is Rose's story going to continue in Resident Evil Nine? You know. And if so, I wonder if the story will will like continue where. Because if you guys remember from when we, you know, from the main game itself, Chris was saying that he, like, you know, wanted to pay the BSAA headquarters a visit, seeing as the BSAA uh, actually released or uh, deployed bioweapons, not actual soldiers, bioweapons, onto the field when Chris was, uh, when, you, when you play as Chris and you're trying to do the airstrike on the Mega My Seat thing. And why, all the while, you know, trying to not die from all the lichens that are around. Um, 
So, yeah. I wonder if that's where the story will leave off, or if it'll, like... I don't know. It's It'll be interesting to see where Resident Evil 9 goes. Anyway, it pains me to think of how much mankind could stand to benefit from this preservation and indexing of human consciousness. The possibilities of preserving or even reclaiming great minds. Perhaps there's some way of cutting through the red tape. Damn. Whoops. Wait. What? Okay, we're already in the make my seat now. Yeah, we're definitely in here already. I'll be next if I'm not quick. I need to get that crystal. Mm. Someone's shoe. That's not good. Ugh, oh, is this gonna be some evil within shit? So gross. What is this? This is gonna this is kinda give me some evil within vibes. Cause I mean you're you know, you're delving into someone's well, a deceased person's mind, memories, whatever. I'm gonna go with a big fat new. Is someone there? Dangerous here. What is? Why? Hang tight. I'm gonna see if I can find a key. Jesus Christ, it rose. That's my name. Create art. Simply add the rabbit's carcasses. Decay is not an issue. Note. Spruce them up with a bit of makeup. It makes them seem more alive. Ooh.
Ooh. Oh boy. What the hell is this stuff? It said my name. It's still on her shoe. What is this stuff? Well, I know what it is, but like, it said my name. coming now. I wonder if infinite ammo uh, counts for this expansion. Or applies to the expansion, I should say. I do wonder. I guess we're going to find out. I knew that was looking suspicious. Help me lift. Hey, wait, where are you going? Oh my god. Another rose? Handle quickly go deeper. Hey. 
Oh, what the hell? Really? Oh, there must be something that'll chase me. But yeah, there must be something that'll chase me. Jesus, okay. Uh, um, that's a lot of me's. I got a bad feeling. Oh, I see. No, I guess it's because that gets blocked up. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Okay. Well, that's why they look like that. Oh my god. Oh shit! Oh, oh, we're back in uh, Castle Dimitrescu. Oh, this can't be good. What if? Wait. Oh no, this is after, of course. No, La Lady Dimitrescu is still dead. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say. What? What are 
are you? Okay. What were those things? What is happening here? How? What is this? Where am I? Not until I get this out of my body. There's a crystal here that will remove the mold. I, I need to find it. And I'm not leaving until I do. Who are you? My guardian angel? Is it is it canine? Do you have a name? If you're an angel, then Gabriel, Michael. Okay. Michael. What now? Huh. That's cool. Oh, nice. There's a save. Oh yeah, this is her bedroom. Wow. That's where Ethan was. Crazy being back here. Anything else? I feel like I just missed something other than what's on that table. Nope. Hold on, I'll be right back. It is a grand honor that you would bestow upon me such an important task. I can report the liquid void you provided has some splendid properties. Its most obvious use is for my dogs on their hunt, of aiding them as they pursue our quarry. It also does wonders for slowing down and corralling the rabbits. Some have even been foolish enough to stumble into it and been completely engulfed. With this, I am certain I will be able to fulfill your expectations and get you the results you so desire. Huh. the Duke? <laughs> no, 
Sounds like the Duke. into running it would have made the chase that much more thrilling uh, let me go let me go it would seem this little rabbit lacks the necessary fortitude uh, uh, a pity you had shown a little grit and actually escaped that purifying crystal would now be yours the crystal Pursue. Let's see how fast this one is. Find her! Hunt her down! Why is the Duke evil now? Seriously? Where am I gonna get a gun? What, like this? So there is no infinite ammo. Well, that's unfortunate. Even though I have it turned on. Hold on. Okay, it is. So. Oh. Huh. So there is infinite ammo. Obviously can't go up there. I wonder where I might find the next little rabbit. They're gone. Probably not going to be that easy to acquire it. 
wonder what the hell this is. Ooh, she doesn't move that. F she doesn't move fast at all. Save. Okay, it's perfect. Shotgun. Oh, okay, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Bolt cutters, obviously. really want to help, you could back me up against those things. Hmm. What? So, I'm on my own? Great. Oh, thanks. stairs first. Ah, oh, well, can't. Never mind. <laughs> or, await, uh, the disciples await their masks. Bronze, silver, gold. With their garb arrayed, the light shall be released. Okay.
poor. You Let's mean that, that gross, lumpy thing? How am I supposed to break it? Oh. My powers. I literally came here to get rid of them. So every t so so far hey, all those things that we've fine. seen but that's how we get how? past them use our powers. What am I supposed to do? Okay. What's that? Okay. So I wonder once we get it we could just use our powers whenever or unless there's a cooldown. I can use these things and combine them together. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I can combine. Okay. so messed up.
to do. Damn, dude, this sucks. I, I can't do anything. Hold on. I need to... Okay. There's actually no settings? What? Okay, well, I mean, that obviously doesn't matter. Infinite ammo on, yes. Only available in story mode. So, are they talking about this? Or, like... Obviously it wouldn't be available in this. Unless they're talking about that. Because this is technically a story mode as well. Dude, I don't know what to do. Like, I have no ammo. Like, these things take a lot of fucking shots. I really don't know what to do.
That one didn't kill? Fuck. hand god damn it I'm not gonna have enough takes five shots in the head That was actually a little easier than I thought. I could just run right past. Ah, look at that. Looks to be might be a weapon in there. No way I'm waiting through that. Maybe I can find a way across. And there's really no benefit from killing the enemies because they don't drop anything. So, I don't feel bad that I didn't kill those two in that room. Plus, I didn't have the ammo for it anyway. Still, well, still don't really have the ammo for it. So, yeah. Uh. But I see. Okay. So once we get our power, we can get rid of these, which seems to unlock areas like this. So once we get rid of once we get our power, we can get rid of this, and maybe that also helps the monsters not spawn. But also provide or also grants us a path to some good shit, possibly. Now that was a useless fucking spot. Why is that there? If I can't if there's nothing to collect. all the ammo I can. Oh. Oh, I need... Okay. I thought I had gunpowder. Okay. I have found a means of dramatically destabilizing parts of the mutamycete network by introducing a disruptive force to block the auto-inducers uh, they use for communication. For example, the hard-packed cores of mold known as... Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Uh, begin to break down on a cellular level, a cellular level, and disintegrate when thus disrupted. Uh, okay, whatever the fuck that word is, uh, form when the mutamycete develops in new locations. Uh, serving as a sort of anchor point or foothold, they are often associated with a patch of liquid void through which the mold has spread. When the auto-inducers of the whatever the hell that word is are disrupted, it begins to break down. Any liquid void connected to whatever that word is 
will also disintegrate. It would appear that destabilizing the whatever that word is sends a signal indicating that location is no longer viable from you to my seat habitation trip. Wait, hold on, hold on. This is talking about what I was literally just talking about. <laughs> Getting rid of those, the poles of mold will give us new areas. Okay. So, okay, so this word that I can't pronounce must be that flower-looking thing. Okay. In new locations. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anchor point. Makes sense, yeah. Okay, yeah, with a patch of liquid void. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. Or disrupted, it begins to break down. Also disintegrated. Perfect. Okay, so this is exactly what I was just stating a little bit ago. Sends a signal indicating that the location full scale retreat. This is perfect. This is gonna be good. This is perfect, man. Our debut variant so, flask one. What am I supposed to do with this thing? Focus? All right. I hope that by obtaining this, we have unlimited access to our power. Like, yeah, like we have, yeah, we have unlimited access to our power. We can use it anytime we want. Different. I hope. Somehow. All right. Let's see if this works. Oh, look at look at the look at the vein-looking thing at the corner. Okay, so that must be, is it going to tell us how to use it along the way, at least? Destroy molds. Ah, that's what the space is for. I'm wondering. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god, dude. Okay, so I was wondering, because I was, I kept trying to use the space bar, but it wouldn't let me, so, I, I mean, I was... Um, you know, very much figuring that the space bar wasn't going to be a useless... I, I, I'm just, I'm so curious, like, I, I do wonder if I have unlimited access to this. It doesn't really seem like there's any... It doesn't really seem like there's any, like, cooldown or any limit so far. But having that icon there kind of makes me think otherwise, you know? I mean, I'm just going to make ammo because, I mean, we're not getting hit. We're, we're doing pretty good for health. We haven't got hit once. I'm not even sure if these enemies are one-hit type deal, you know? Because they seem to be soul-sucker type things or whatever the hell you want to call them. So I don't know if these enemies, like, 